Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Red 5 Rips and today we have two boxes of Dark Sylveon celebrations. So I have my little scale here. I like to weigh my celebrations packs just for fun to kind of put out the information out there if anybody is curious about what you can get in certain packs. Um, I just like to put it out there so people can see it because I know that that's a thing and sort of some people can sort of, uh, I don't know, get an idea of whether or not, uh, you know, buying, buying actual like packs that somebody is selling or if it's better to buy the, the sealed boxes like this because I do think that these packs are somewhat weighable, uh, weighable, is that the, is that how you would say it? And I'm being able to tell what's actually inside. So yeah, let's actually see what we got today. So the, these boxes come with four celebrations packs, a fusion strike and a, is a chilling of uh, evolving skies, that's right. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna just knock out the evolving skies. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and open up the other box. We'll do them all at the same time, so. Doing this off camera. Give me a second. Hope everybody's doing well. Found these at my local Walmart today, so they are still out in the wild. You can buy them at retail price still. So the fact, um, so these were twenty dollars, nineteen ninety-five, which I think is pretty decent for four celebrations packs and two extra packs. Obviously, pretty good price. And then you do get the this big card and the, the little card of the of the Dark Sylveon. It's pretty cool. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready to go. Let's start ripping. Put the celebrations packs over here. So today we will have eight celebration packs. You know what? Out of those eight, I just, I want to get something new to add to the collection that I don't have, and I think it will be worth it. I mean, they, you can pull some really good stuff out of these packs, obviously. I'm not going to do this on these, no reason. Um, let's just see what we get out of these. One, two, three, four. Victini, Electric, Dunsparce, Meowth. Meryl, Helioptile, that's a neat, I like that card, that's pretty cool, like, um, very basic. All right, and the first pack is a complete dud. We got the Crossiever, Reverse Hollow, and the Maractus. All right, let's go with the other Fusion Strike pack, and then we'll get into Evolving Skies. Check out my other video that, I'm, that I posted recently about the Crown Zenith Shiny Zamazenta box that I got, Deluxe box. I, I pulled some pretty good stuff out of there. If you're curious about what's in those boxes, I found that at Walmart as well. Those are starting to show up in stores. And um, yeah, Simpor and the Galarian Corsola. All right, so those are my reverse autos out of those two packs. I'm gonna say those are two fails, two fail packs. But that happens, what, 90% of the time? Fail packs. All right. Podon, Toy Catcher, Moon and Sun Badge, Petitlo, Cryogonal, Zorora, Swablu, Hopip, and the Reverse. Hollow is a slack off, and it looks like we do have something behind it. We do have a hit. It is going to be a Glaceon. Very cool. Glaceon V. Out of the Evolving Skies box. Or packs. Really nice. We'll put that there. And we'll move to the last... The last pack here of Evolving Skies. And hope for a hit. I like that background. That's a cool card. Okay. 
Okay, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have a Rabambi reverse, and we are not gonna get a hit, a Gigalith. Very cool. All right, so those are the four basic packs that I got from here. Let's turn on the scale, some grams. Okay, hopefully everybody can see that. So we have 9.49, .9. so this is kind of a, previously when I've done this, um, Seems like the cards were slid up. Okay. Previously, when I've done this, 4.5, 4. Um, 9.49 was a a, um, a pack that didn't weigh that. You know, that was on the lower scale, I believe. I was trying to. Sorry, I was trying to find my my paperwork. All right. So nothing, and then nothing. Yeah. So as you can see, nothing out of that pack. So that was a four point or 9.49 pack. Another 9.51, so this will probably have something similar. So this technically probably could have, it could probably have the Blastoise, the Charizard, that kind of stuff in it, um, in the third, the third card, as I took the other card. All right, let's see if, see if I can do it here. Uh, yes, which it did, Venusaur, nice. Okay, so the light packs, can have these in it, uh, and you know, if it's a light pack, it could have this, but then it's most likely not going to have a big hit. It's not going to have a full, a full hollow card in it, but it can have these. So very nice. I wish that was a Blastoise. I still don't have the Blastoise, but it's going to got one of these out of these eight packs. Been cooler if it were a Charizard, but that's okay. Looks a little off center, a little up and down, but hey, you know what? Not too bad. All right, here we go. 9.57, okay, so this is a little heavier, so this could have maybe, I'm gonna guess probably, oh, I'm gonna say the, let me take that one card off the back here. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it's gonna have nothing in it except the last card is gonna be the Pikachu, the full, the full art Pikachu. It's gonna weigh a little bit more. Are you ready? Let's see if I'm right. It, actually, no, here we go, nice. It has the Rayquaza EX. And then the back one does have a nothing. So here we go. So because it had the Mew on the back, which is a regular weighted card, it was able to have something a little heavier. Very nice. This is relatively rare. I've only pulled one of these um, out of probably, what, 80-something packs that I've opened now, maybe more. So that's cool. 9.57. Nine point six five. So this could potentially have a two hitter in it. So I'm gonna say this one's gonna be one of the EX Pikachu cards, and that's it. I'm thinking it's gonna have nothing in it. Yep. So far, so so far, so good. Oh, it's gonna have the Zelmazenta. <laughs> Why couldn't that have been the Zacian? I do not have the Zacian yet. Uh. So it did have the V, so that's the that's the weight that can have a single weighted card in it. All right, here's a big pack, y'all. Here we go, 9.86. So this is going to be a two-hitter. So this could have the Golden Mew. It could have, um, it could technically just be a one of the VMAX Pikachu cards. Um, but most of the time, when it's heavy like this, it it can have a pretty good third card as well. Let's see what we get. And right, what we got? Come on, come on, Char. Nope. Okay, so this is going to be a big one. This is going to be. Um, let me get this last card off so we can, so we can see what's it going to be. It could be a Zacian at least. Z Seriously? <laughs> I want to know why that pack weighed so much more than the previous pack. Where did the Zacian go? Did I already pull it out? Where did it go? There it is. So there we go. I don't know why that pack was more. It was heavier. Because it should have been exactly the same weight. So there we go. All right, here's a really heavy pack. Am I just not placing them on there right? Let's see. I'm trying to put them right in the middle. Now, this is a heavy pack, too. Three packs to go. Come on. Come on, Golden Mew. If I get a double or something, I want it to be the Golden Mew. You know, these packs are a lot of fun to open. I love it. 
All right. Take my card out, because I actually do, I do put those into the online thing. I don't want anybody taking my, my number. Dialga, Kyogre, and we get a Surfing Pikachu V. All right. I don't think I have, there's one of the V Maxes that I don't have. I can't remember. I don't know if it's 9.77. So we, we're, we're getting, we're staying up there at the heavier mounts. I may just stop doing the weight. I think I've done that enough to show that it technically doesn't matter sometimes, as y'all saw. All right, I'm going to do this off screen. I'm going to pull it, pull the card off. There we go. All right. Groudon. Come on, Charizard. Something's there. I can tell you something, something is here on the third slot. Reshiram. All right. I kind of wish it was the... What is it, the Dialga? Is that the other one? And then Professor's Research. That's nice, that's the third time I've pulled this card. Very cool. All right, down to the final pack. We'll weigh it just for fun. 9.7. I don't know why I enjoy these packs so much. They just, I don't know. I love the, the stuff that you can get out of them. They're super cool. Let me take the card off the back. All right, final pack here. Watch this be a, just a dud pack. Come on, Char. Nope. Basic pocket, yeah. All right, come, some, come on, something big. And just, that was a dud pack. That's how it goes sometimes. All right, everybody. So that's what you can potentially get out of two boxes of the Dark Sylveon V. Uh, celebrations box. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Everybody have a great day.